Hello, hello friends. Today we are going to be discussing exactly how to calculate weight loss. I get a lot of people and they're asking exactly how long is it going to take for me to lose X amount of pounds. I want to expedite the process. I want to do it as quickly as possible. How many calories do I need to cut a day? And so I'm going to show you today how to do the calculations, if you will. Although I am not a numbers pusher, this is this whole thing right here is just not my jam because honestly, even if you do follow this to the T, there might not be weight loss. And because there's multiple factors, hormonal imbalances, there might also be the fact that you've been cutting calories for so long, your body is already in a fat storage mode. So we need to do things to tweak things around and to adjust and reverse diet for some people and to do things in order to get your hormones back in check. So that's a whole different video or multiple videos. But today I just want to bring light to the fact that one pound of body fat is 3,500 calories. So if we know that right from the jump, then we can kind of calculate things and figure out, okay, where can I be comfortable with my calories and still manage to lose weight, but not be totally deprived. And so I have here the macro breakdown. So there's calories, and then you also calculate your macros, which you've got, if you follow me, you know that I'm not a huge macro counter, macro pusher. Although when I do create plans for my clients, I do give them caloric and macro ranges because I think it's healthy to understand where you need to be around and what macros need to be consumed the most and the least. And so with the macros, we're talking fat, protein, carbs, our macronutrients. So it's very important to understand that you get the most calories per gram from fat. And then the protein and the carbs are the exact same at four. So you get four calories per one gram of both protein and carbohydrates. And then fat, you see that things that are higher in fat have tons of calories. It's because, and you can consume a little bit of it. And you're like, whoa, that was a lot of calories. And I didn't consume that much. It's because there's nine, nine calories per one gram of fat, okay? So when you are getting into the nitty gritty of macro counting and doing all of that, just understand that's why your grams are gonna be lower with the fat, but you're gonna have that much many more calories, okay? So if we know our baseline, because at the end of the day, if we don't know our baseline with our calories, you're not gonna be able to calculate anything. So when I work with clients, typically they don't know where they're currently at. So that's why it's good that we do the program and I'm working back and forth every week. We're adjusting, we're tweaking, we're manipulating. And that is only because very few people know exactly where they're at currently. So if we know that we consume 2,500 calories in a day, most people are probably around there. So we know, okay, well, 3,500 calories is one pound. So if I'm gonna be a little bit better, I'm gonna cut my calories, but I'm not gonna go extreme. I'm not gonna cut like a thousand calories a day because a lot of people that would be miserable. So we're gonna cut back 500. We're gonna see how that goes, how our body feels. So you have 500 calories of deficit in each day. And then we wanna see, okay, so how many days is that gonna take for me to burn 3,500 calories? Seven, divided. 3,500 divided by 500 is seven days it's gonna take for us to burn that amount of calories or be, I don't wanna say burn that amount, but that is how long it's gonna take for us to not consume. And that's gonna be one pound of body fat. Sometimes it works that way. Again, sometimes it doesn't because of other issues going on in the body. So a lot of times, you know, people wanna keep cutting and they wanna keep cutting and they wanna keep cutting, but you notice your body will not burn fat if you keep doing that because your set point is at a much different place than what it was two years prior when you were eating the way you should have been eating and you weren't starving your body and you weren't yo-yo dieting and you weren't doing all these things that your body frowns upon. So your body will tell you when it's not happy with you and that's because you are doing what you're supposed to be doing yet it's not giving you the results that you want. 
that's when you know your body's like, F you, I don't like what you've been doing to me, so I'm not going to give you what you want. So when that happens, you really need to work with a coach that knows what they're doing, that's going to be there week to week and help you adjust things as you progress because every situation is completely different. That's why I'm not a huge numbers do this, do that, because it's not one size fits all. And so I wish it was that easy, but it's just not. When you're younger, it's that easy. When you're older and you've been doing all the things and you've been trying all the things and you've been doing good, doing bad and everything in between, it's just not that easy. So again, you could go down the line and you could keep calculating how many days is it gonna take for me to lose three pounds and four pounds? Obviously, if you keep going at this route, you're gonna lose one pound per week. That is a healthy, maintainable process. And you know, again, at some point, if you wanna expedite the process, you can go down a little bit more, but then your body's gonna hit that new set point and then you might need to up the calories a little bit and then back off a little bit. So it's all about maintaining and sticking to the plan, but also knowing when to adjust the plan because you can't continue the same plan the same exact way and think that, okay, I'm gonna just keep, my body's just gonna keep reacting the way I want it to react because at some point it's gonna need adjustment. So I hope that was helpful. And if you have any specific questions, let me know. Have a fantastic day.